So when you get these four things, tea, durian, rice, and touch and go card, I can say you become a local. <laughs> I noticed that I changed while living here because everyone is like, hi, how are you? And so on and so on. I'm also like this. Mm. And when I go back to my home country, everyone looks at me like, why are you asking so many questions? Why are you smiling? Yeah. Wow, langsung like berbeda gitu. Yeah. Halo teman-teman semua, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Apa kabarnya nih teman-teman semua, semoga sehat selalu ya Dan kembali lagi bersama aku Rizky tentunya Kali ini kita mau ngelanjut requestan dari teman-teman semua Thanks untuk teman-teman yang sudah kirimin link request kalian ke DM Instagram aku di US Rizky ya Ini sangat menarik ya menurut aku ya Jadi ramai wisatawan asing pelancong dari uh, berbagai negara ya teman-teman ya Datang ke Malaysia itu bukan hanya untuk berlibur loh Mereka itu sampai ada yang mendaftarkan untuk jadi warga negara di Malaysia tentunya Karena itu tadi ya teman-teman sudah apa ya terlanjur sayang, terlanjur cinta dengan negara Malaysia Dan ini ada salah satu video yang sangat menarik menurut aku Langsung aja kita nontonnya videonya ya When you get these four things, tea, durian, rice, and touch and go card I can say you become a local Need dinara, a digital nomad Bener-bener kalau liburan udah kayak gitu udah enak banget ya hmm. Oh, Nah, penting itu ya punya touch and go ya. To pie, right? Mm. So here they have this. You don't use just card in your hand. You use a special stick. Oh, really? It looks like a stick know. that you use to kill flies, or uh, the one that you use to cook in the end. You just insert your card, and it's going to be a stick with this. So when you get these four things, tea, durian, rice, and touch and go card, I can say you become a local. <laughs> I noticed that I changed while living here because everyone is like, "Hi, how are you?" and so on and so on. I'm also like this, mm. and when I go back to my home country, everyone looks at me like. Wow, langsung berbeda gitu. Hmm, jadi ramah. Wow. Iya, iya. Sweet banget. Ini suka banget sama durian dia. Udah aku segitu cukup udah. Takut mabok durian kalau gue mah. Ada yang nggak pedes kok. Oh iya sama berarti sama aku so, suka aja. Really like it, aku aku belum nyicip aja udah suka. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Nah. Ya. Yeah. Like uh, di mana? Oke. Nah. Noodle tuh. Di mana yang enak? Oh iya benar. Iya biar sehat jalan terus. Wow. 
love walking there with my friends. Mm -hmm. Also, we love to walk to Chinatown from KLCC. It's yeah. not that much, I think, but it's quite interesting because you know Chinatown is beautiful. There's yeah. art. Kalau jalan aja nggak apa yang penting well, itu ya. Cari restonya so, yang halal just, ya. You know, Nah ini cantiknya. Wow. Cold islands. Like, you know, letter of good conduct as well, 
that took a while because yeah. I have to get it from my home country. Um, the rest was easy. CV, work experience, description of work experience. And of course you have to pay the fee, which is about 1060 You pay the fee, then mm. 1500 is a deposit, but it depends on the country. And of course the immigration fee. So overall I'd say it cost around 2500 ringgit, mm. which is very affordable. And you can get a visa from three months to 12 months. Okay. You can get your family with this visa. You can get de dependents, like two dependents, three dependents. Okay, to, I in see. Future, you can also extend for another year. And that's what I'm planning to do. I'm going to extend my visa maybe for three or six months extra in the end. Is there a minimum salary, a minimum income that you yes, need to generate? Yes, of course. So the most important thing is that you work online and you have a proof that you work online and you have a stable income, mm. which is your contracts and so on and so on. Yeah. And the income should be higher than $2,000 okay. or 9000 ringgit, let's say. Okay, I yeah. see. Yeah. And about taxes, I know that many people would ask, and it's a huge question right now. Yeah. Every day I get these inquiries. If your country has double taxation agreement with Malaysia, then you can just pay taxes in your home country. Mm. For example, now I pay taxes in Russia, and I don't have to pay it here. Just to double confirm, you know, because I was worried that I would pay double tax and it's a lot. I went to tax services twice to find out about yeah. it, just to make sure that I, I, I know for sure, because many people don't know it's a new program, there is little information. It's issued by Malaysian Digital Economy Corporation, okay. and they not only always know what to answer you. For example, when I asked about taxes last time, they told me they are not authorized agency. I have to go to tax services myself. But this visa is amazing. I mean, two and a half thousand bring it. Mm. You get one year or three months visa. Depends what you apply for. Yeah. Wow. You just get to live here. Mm. Oke okay, teman-teman, jadi ini ya, aku juga sering kan nge uh, banyak sekali ramai ya tentu saja wisatawan, mancanegara, uh, pelancong tentunya ya, dari berbagai negara memang berdatangan ke Malaysia. Dan memang setelah datang ke Malaysia ini rata-rata hampir semua orang yang datang itu jatuh cinta ya dengan Malaysia. Jadi dari berbagai negara ya teman-teman ya, Inggris, Amerika, Australia, Jepang, Korea, rata-rata... Uh, Wisatawan asing setelah datang ke Malaysia ini jatuh cita dan ingin menambahkan untuk waktu liburannya di Malaysia. Hal-hal seperti itu sering sekali aku mendengarnya gitu ya teman-teman. Dan memang menurut aku Malaysia ini sangat spesial ya teman-teman. Jadi aku juga akan berlibur ke sana dan juga sudah mencari tahu. Jadi dari jarak-jaraknya tentu saja jadi kan uh, misalkan aku akan datangnya ke KL terlebih dahulu setelah itu. Jika ingin ke Johor harus memakan waktu berapa jam, jika ingin ke Langkawi berapa jam itu sudah aku cari tahu semua jam dari beberapa video dari wisatawan asing yang datang ke Malaysia, youtuber intinya vlogger yang datang ke Malaysia yang sudah memberitahukan bagaimana berlibur di sana, wisata kemana saja, tempat-tempat pilihannya, kulinernya. Kita akan lebih tahu tentu saja setelah mempelajari dan melihat video-video dari wisatawan yang sudah datang ke Malaysia tentunya. Oke teman-teman demikian ya video kita kali ini. Misalkan nanti ada request apa lagi silahkan tulis saja di kolom komentar. Kalau nggak bisa kasih linknya di kolom komentar boleh kasih ke DM Instagram aku di esriski ya. Aku akhiri dulu. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Sampai jumpa lagi di videoku selanjutnya. Bye-bye. next time. Bye.